Around the south and the east coast of Sri Lanka, there's usually always a chance to spot some kind of marine life, whether it's turtles, fish, dolphins, and maybe whales. So I'm really excited for today's video because we're jumping on a boat in Marissa and we're heading out to see if we can spot any marine life. <gasps> I've got goosebumps everywhere. Wow, already this is just amazing. Last week, we welcomed my parents back to Sri Lanka. It was great to be reunited and they soon settled in and started working a bit on our house. And we hope to do a bit of traveling around this beautiful country whilst they're here, starting today. We are really excited to share with you our upcoming videos of travels around parts of Sri Lanka and keep a lookout for a very, very special video coming soon. Subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> Come on, we're going on a road trip, a boat trip. Okay, we're here. We've made it to the whale watching office. We've got our tickets. So we're just waiting to head out to the boat and it's a really cute dog. I'm so excited. Now we're finally here. We see all the boats and I'm just really excited for the day. I'm really excited to just go out on a little exploration. And even if we don't see any whales, of course I'll be a little bit upset, but I think it's gonna be a really awesome experience and it's something new. We've never done this before. And yeah, we're just super stoked. And first time and boat. I've been on many, many boats, so I think I'll be all right. And it looks quite calm in the harbor. Let's see what it looks like on the other side because We've been having the most awful storms recently, so I feel like it's gonna be super choppy out there, but let's see. Cheers. Do coffee? No. Oh yeah, me. Thank you. Sugar and milk. Okay, we're on the boat. We've got biscuits and coffee, and we're ready to go. This is one thing you're not good at, just so everyone knows, because he's so good at everything. He's not good at being on boats. Welcome to the Raja and the Bay Sport, and welcome to Sri Lanka. Thank you very much for joining with us. So much yeah. rain, so I was uh, 
yeah, I was really thinking there's going to be lots of rain and that we were going to get cancelled on this boat trip or something. But it's turned out to be such a beautiful morning. Like the sky is almost clear, the water is really still. Still no whales or anything spotted yet, but just being out here is perfect and it's the experience. I'm super relaxed. We're two hours into our boat trip and we've just stopped and we've seen two turtles mating. Uh, it's so amazing to see and we actually were really lucky to see this on Rakawa Beach like over a year ago. And we were even more luckier to get the footage on the drone. But it's just so amazing to see it more close and just an incredible sight. I've got goosebumps everywhere. Oh, that was amazing. So we have just been surrounded by dolphins. It was absolutely incredible. They were jumping out of the water and they didn't mind about our boat here. We weren't being intrusive in their space. They were just doing their thing. They're migrating dolphins. And then my mum just saw a spout, so now we're heading over to see if we actually can see a whale. And we just had this massive cargo ship going past us, and the guys are telling us how the marine life is being affected by these huge cargo ships, which actually go really, really fast, and they're endangering the blue whales and the other marine life in the area. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of... Um, there needs to be more protection done for the marine life. Under the boat, they're playing. There's one there. Wow. Oh, they're li literally right in front of us. I love it when you look at the down in the ocean and the sunlight, how it goes down. gave me a different perspective on life. Being out to sea and looking back at the land, it's like we were leaving behind the hustle and bustle, the stresses of everyday life, and the petty dramas which affect me way more than they should. I like it out here. It makes you feel more within and feel free. Okay, we've just arrived back into Marissa Harbour after a really, really lovely boat trip. It was actually brilliant, even though we didn't see any whales, we did see the two turtles that were mating and also two species of dolphins. So we saw the Rhesus dolphins and also the Spinner dolphins and that was really amazing. It was really magical and we really enjoyed it, even though we didn't see the blue whales or any whales actually. 
but there's actually more of a reason behind it why we didn't see any whales and why there's less chance of spotting them now. One, because of overfishing and two, pollution and also the tourism. Like a lot of people are swimming with the whales and it's illegal. So there's a lot of issues behind it. Also the huge cargo ships that are coming through, they're actually running into the whales and killing them. They go at so much speed and they're massive and they're just like destroying the habitat basically. So even though we had a really, really lovely time, we did learn a lot about the things that people don't usually see when you're booking onto a whale watching tour. And I really highly recommend you guys to book onto Raja and the Whales. We did loads of research before we did this trip to make sure, to make sure that we were booking onto an ethical eco-tourism company and not just companies that are out there to make money and yeah exploit the industry basically did you have a good time yeah also i wasn't expecting so much food we had lots of really lovely food yeah. they catered for us so well and the staff were really really lovely and yeah just all around a really great experience and you just have to be super lucky to see whales and even though we didn't see any today they've invited us back for another chance like a free time with Raja and the Wells but obviously you'd have to pay the government tax but they're still welcoming us on board for hopefully another chance to see some whales so we'll probably take that offer up at some point but yeah amazing amazing morning just came to this really nice little hidden cafe in a hangama and just had some light lunch and iced coffee it was really delicious really good food and yeah i don't know what we're doing next i think we're gonna go check out a beach head home to see the dogs and see what the rest of the day brings and I about estimate we have probably around two minutes until a huge thunderstorm comes down. So I'm gonna take this two minutes, sit down, relax, and then probably run and get everything inside. Okay, I think that lasted like 30 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> run! You're not coming inside. I want to add here the importance of the environments that surround us and how we should respect, cherish and love our oceans. Because without them, we have nothing. We rely on our oceans and the animals and fish in it to keep the ecosystems in balance and to keep our planet healthy. But as you may know, we've been taking advantage of the fish, animals and resources here. Please keep plastics out of the ocean, put your rubbish in bins and respect the wildlife. Keep your distance and don't touch the wild animals. And if we all did our bit and took care of the spaces around us, the world would be a much better, healthier, happier place for all living in it. Not just us, but for the animals also. Thanks for watching today's video.